Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kenesha. Welcome back to my channel. This is officially my first purchase of my low buy year for 2023 and I'm super excited about it. I want to get into this unboxing. Along with my unboxing, they gave me a little gift here. So we'll unbox that together. I'm really excited about that. Here on my channel, I like doing conversations about luxury lifestyle and mindset. If you're into that, then I hope you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. At the end of this video, I will share an update on my February no buy, talk a little bit about yay, nay on the sabbatical, and talk a little bit about my where my mind is around luxury right now for this month of February. So if you're into that, then stay tuned for more. Okay, so let's get into this unboxing because I'm really excited about it. And then we'll do the small gift. Okay, so as you can see by the title, we are unboxing the new release from Louis Vuitton, the Ivy Walk. We will get into all the extracurricular goodies. I love all the extra goodies that I get from Louis Vuitton, so we'll get into all of that. Oh, and then my essay that I was working with today, she gave me her lipstick combination because I've been looking for a red and it's uncensored by Fenty. So I thought that was really great of her. That was my receipt. Okay, so let's get into some this unboxing because this bag got me off of my low buy into my first purchase of the year. When I saw the picture, I said this bag was going to be mine. And when I saw it and tried it on in person, I said this bag was going to be mine. So this is the new Ivy Walk. I could not pass her up, you guys. I just could not pass her up. And you can see I'm so excited that we have to get into this unboxing. I'm like, let's just bypass all the little minutia and the little gifts because this bag is so cute. This bag is so, 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 so cute. It comes with this little chain strap and we'll get into all the little accoutrements that it comes with and everything like that. Let's get into this bag with the materials, the description, what does it fit, the price. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. So this is Louis Vuitton's new Ivy Walk and I love it. So let's just think about all the bags this reminds us of and then let's get into it. Pochette accessoire. I saw the pochette accessoire. I took a picture of the pochette accessoire and I asked the SA about the comparison of this bag to the pochette accessoire. The Phyllisy. I saw the Phyllisy. I took a picture of the Phyllisy. We'll get into the dimensions of this bag versus the Phyllisy. Mini pochette. This is clearly bigger than the mini pochette. Pochette Matisse East West. This is clearly much more simple than the Pochette East West Matisse. The Lexington pouch. This is clearly a lot more simple and under the radar than the Lexington pouch. And then the price. Okay, so this is the Ivy Wallet on Chain. That's what WAX stands for. It is a very simple, understated, under the radar, new monogram bag from Louis Vuitton. There's not a lot of vachetta that it comes with, and I love that. This is a canvas product. This is the only vachetta leather, as well as the hand strap that this bag comes with. There's no back pocket. There's no feet. There's no plaque on the front. It's a magnetic snap button closure. D-rings on the side, they're not engraved. It's very plain, very simple Louis Vuitton. This is what I would consider to be a starter bag for Louis Vuitton. If you are starting off with Louis Vuitton and you don't have any of those other bags that I mentioned, this is a beautiful and great simple starter bag for Louis Vuitton. This is the kind of bag in terms of use for me personally that I would see myself rocking at a little play date for my kids or a little movie date if I'm going out with somebody. This is a really good simple date bag if you got this little starter bag. Interior of this bag is taking me way, way, way back to 2000 Louis Vuitton. In fact, this is the interior material that they used all those years ago. There's no dimpling effect. And then they've got two straps that comes with this bag, this Vachetta strap, and then this gold strap. They're both detachable. I love that. And I love the simplicity 
that this is just a nice little snap closure just like that i like that there's this nice simple little zip pocket in here when i was in the store i was able to just put my phone inside this bag it does fit in here if you want to put your phone in here it fits a lot better if there's no case on it but it just fit and, and slid into this bag real easy and then i really like that this is leather line back here this is made in france and then it's got these three leather card slot right there so this is a very simple little bag but I really like simple, especially because I'm noticing as I get older, I don't want to carry big bags. Personally, I think I'm getting over the big bags. When we talk about being bagged out, I think I'm over a lot of the big bags that I typically have for Louis Vuitton. And I'm much more interested in small bags. This is a perfect bag for me, as well as wearing it to like a little intramural game or out on a date. This is perfect for travel. I can definitely see a bag like this fitting under my arm perfectly for travel because it just fits right there so snugly and it's not uncomfortable at all. And then we get this beautiful Vachetta strap that has two adjustable settings, this shoulder setting, and then this setting looks to be the same length as the chain. This is super cute. Oh, this is super cute. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. Okay, so the gold chain is a little bit shorter than the Vachetta strap by, it looks like about two inches. By maybe, I think it's about like an inch and a half differential. So it's gonna fit a little bit more snug up under your arm. So I am 5'8 when it comes to this strap job. I think it fits me perfectly and it hits me right here. This is the top of my waist. I have really long legs. So I have a really short torso and really long legs. So this hits me right here at my hip. I think that's a perfect length for me. And then here's how it looks if I was trying to wear a crossbody. So this doesn't bother me personally because if I was going to, for example, an amusement park, I like the way that this fits because this is how my bum bag would hit me when I wore my bum bag. So like if I had my bum bag, this is what it would look like. And if you have cards in here, you have a phone in here, how I literally would wear my bum bag is how I would wear this bag. When I am wearing, for example, another bag called the Diane, I sling it over my back like this and I'm looking, I'm looking like this and it's just really comfortable. This is a really comfortable bag for me and wearing it like this is really comfortable. I don't care about the nice, neat look. If you're going for the nice, neat look, it's no problem. It's gonna hit you nicely on your waist like this. Or like I said, it's going to hit you really nicely on your shoulder like this. So I think either way, this is a really comfortable bag. Now, in a past video, I had thought about this Ivy Walk in comparison to my Eva Clutch. As you can see, the Ivy Walk is a little bit smaller than the Eva Clutch. I'm a little surprised by that. It's just a little bit shorter in length by a good inch. In terms of width, it's very similar in width. It's about 1.2 inches in depth and width. And then you can see in terms of height, it's about a couple of centimeters shorter in height. So this is the Ivy Walk. It's a little bit smaller in terms of dimensions all around, except potentially the width is a little bit similar. When I asked the essay about the dimensions of this bag versus the pochette accessoire, for example, she said that the pochette accessoire was a little bit bigger in terms of like the height, the length, but not necessarily the width. The Felicie 
is about the same size as the Ivy Walk in terms of the length and in terms of the width. The Fella C is a little bit higher like the Pochette Accessoire. This cost $17.60 and after taxes it was $18.65 or something like that. This is the same price as the toiletry on chain, for example. So I'm just trying to show you versus some of the other bags that Louis Vuitton released. If you're looking for value for your money, you might be able to find other bags, other purchases that cost the same or might be a little bit more expensive, still hitting around the 2000 mark or just under if that's what you're looking for. But the reason why I really wanted this version is because I do not have the pochette accessoire. I do appreciate having the detachable straps. I prefer a very simple look. I already had a version that zips close in my Eva clutch. I already had the toiletry 26, which comes with the T15 smaller piece. And I was really looking for a nice, cute little monogram version that was going to hold all my little SLGs. So it holds my phone. If I want to carry a card holder, I could, but I most likely would. I'm just putting it in there so that you could see and pretend I have a phone in there. I would have some cards in there. And then instead of a mini pochette, I have a micro pochette I would use instead. And then for vacation, I think this would be great to put your passport in and fit some cash right here in the front. My Wapiti case would not recommend using a Wapiti in here. If you also have coin pouch, is going to easily fit in here. Put a phone right here and then you'll have your cards in there. And personally, I would fit probably some slip some cash back here or some business cards back here. Easy breezy bag. And it's very simple. The piping is very similar to the pochette accessoire. So by all accounts, if you wanted something like the pochette accessoire, if you wanted something like the Felicity, then you are going to like the Ivy Walk. If you're not really into those bags, if you're not really looking for a small bag, then you're not going to like the Ivy Walk. Overall, I'm in my small bag era. I really like small bags. This is another one that I just never had in my collection in the past. So this is perfect for the way that I use, I live my life. This is perfect for me to run around and do errands. This is like a cute little under the radar bag for me. And I'm really happy that I was able to secure it. If you're into this bag, you should definitely go out and get it. I think it's a rather popular bag on hitting everybody's radar. I think this is gonna be really popular for this year. When I was in the store, I did not see a lot in the 2023 summer lookbook that would be for me. Well, I'll be happy to do a video if you're into that and you wanna see what's coming. I didn't think that there was a lot coming personally that I was interested in, but this was a piece that hit my radar along with the ellipse. If you're into Louis Vuitton's timeless classic monograms, I think you should scoop them up. The rivets, that they have here say Louis Vuitton on both sides. And then it just has the normal Louis Vuitton clasps and they are the same size. This is a nice, cute, simple little summer bag for me, summer, spring, run around bag for me. The bag that I got rid of that I recently sold at consignment was my Gucci X Balenciaga City Neo Classic bag. So that's the one that I let go. And this is the one that I knew I wanted to get in. And I'm really, really thrilled about my first low buy for the year. I would highly recommend if you know what you're interested in for this year, if you're doing a low buy to plan ahead, save up for it, make sure that you think about whether or not there's anything in your closet that you can relinquish or you're just no longer using for whatever reason and use those funds instead. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna open, if you are new here, my name is Kanisha. Welcome to my channel. If you are not new, welcome back. So I love, love, love this. This is from their artistic designer. Oh, this is the person who designs on their hard-sided 
pieces in the store and I was invited to a special event for women's today for Valentine's Day. So this is what she drew for me. I had asked specifically for a coffee trunk because if you're new to my channel, then one of the things that I really love about Louis Vuitton is the heritage luggage pieces. I love the trunks. She invited me to the event and then I got this little gift that we're going to see what's in here. And I got some champagne. They drew on this beautiful card. I'm gonna make sure that I put it on my little table, my little Louis Vuitton table. That's really pretty. My little table is growing. Um, Kusama gift wrapping paper here. I thought that was really sweet. We have some champagne that she provided. And we have, uh, what is this? A strawberry cream cookie. That is so cute. That is so precious. Would you eat your strawberry cream cookie with your Kusama wrapping? Or would you let this petrify for the next 20 years and sell it at Sotheby's auction for $20,000? Taking all comments below as if that was a poll question. <laughs> Taking all comments below, drop your comments, let me know. <laughs> I thought that this was so precious. This is just like a really nice way to end my little unboxing and my little shopping day at Louis Vuitton. And I thought that this was just a really pleasant way to kick off my low buy year. It's my first purchase of the year. I said I'm doing a low buy year because I knew that I just didn't see a lot of things on the horizon that I was into. But when I was in the store, I did end up taking a look at some pieces that I have been really interested in. So I'll do a follow-up video to show you some of my thoughts on pieces that fr are from like last year as well as pieces that I really like um, from the Hard Sided collection for possibly the future. As we like go through the year and we progress through this journey that I'm on because I just never know what I'm going to do or where I'm going to be. I'll definitely just bring you all along and fill you in and you all can let me know and help me out on my journey if I have questions. I'm usually dropping them on my Instagram or I am dropping them on my community page. So I love the engagement. Let's all engage with each other and help each other out and figure out this pursuit of life liberty and ownership the pursuit of happiness that's what i'm all about here on my channel if you are all about that then i hope you give me a pink heart emoji at the end we are all about life liberty and the pursuit of ownership aka happiness here a love here at kbot lb so thank you so much for tuning in if you're with me to the end i hope you like this video by now share this video by now and have subscribed okay so sabbatical talk yay nay where am i mentally i am still on the fence for what i'm going to do about work i'm still looking for an internal opportunity because why not i'm still meeting with my network and just talking to them about hey you know here's where my head's at what do you think i should do i wanted to thank everybody on my community in my community who's been watching, subscribing, following me here, following me on my Instagram. Thank you all so much for encouraging me, for your support. I really appreciate the love. It's really uplifting to know that there are people out there that care for me, even though you've never met me, you don't really know me. This is like what I'm talking about. Let this be the community for us to all uplift each other together, all move ahead together, all live the life that we desire together. Let's maximize our lives together. So right now, what I realized is for my low buy, I'm happy to buy something if I buy something, if I've already let something else go. So I think that's an important rule that I'm adhering to for this year is I'm not gonna go crazy with my spending on things because I think I already have a lot of things. And what I'm finding is I have a lot of valuable things as I take them to the consignment I'm actually reaping the rewards of a lot of the things that I've bought over the years and am no longer using clothes wise, shoes wise for work. I'm just getting a lot of bang and a lot of value out of these items and I'm not using a lot of the things that I used to wear. So that's how I'm starting to afford some of the things that we're seeing right now. Rather than dip into some of the savings that I have socked away, 
I'm starting to build a budget from consigning clothes, from selling clothes. That's allowing me to do some of the shopping that I want to do right now. And there's not a lot on the horizon. I'll do another video on things that I saw in Louis Vuitton. There's really not a lot on the horizon that I'm personally interested in. So I'm just going to continue to bank my savings and go from there. So that's a little bit about how I'm affording my low buy when it comes to work sabbatical. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do if I take a sabbatical to make income besides just make YouTube videos, but I'm not looking at YouTube as how I'm going to make money, like as my, my job. I'm not looking at YouTube in this period of time as my job, as my full-time job. That's not how I look at YouTube, at least not yet. We'll see how that goes, but that's my mindset right now. So that's sabbatical talk. That's a little bit about what's going on with my low buy. How am I affording it? What am I doing right now in terms of spending? Not much. This is the first buy that I made this year. And honestly, there's not a lot that I see on the horizon. So we'll see how things progress. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're with me to the end, I hope you like this video by now, share this video by now and have subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Oh.